Hello my fellow socially inept friends. Today we are going to be looking at the Rocket Cone Pure Owl Eye, one of the three revolutionary mice from Rocket rocking the reliable 3360 sensor. So let me first give you information about this Owl Eye sensor from Rocket themselves. As apex predators, owls are feared by their prey. What makes them so deadly is their legendary eyesight, which is what inspired Rocket when working on the Owl Eye sensor. Their vision is characterised by the stunning ability to rapidly analyse and process its surroundings with lethal efficiency. Owl Eye mirrors this relentless position, providing gamers what feels like a natural extension of their body for a unique, real feeling experience that's as intuitive as it is effective. So yeah, this is actually um, cringy. I know everybody throws around that word a lot, but holy shit, that is awful. What's more worrying for me is that this must have been read by quite a few people before it was put on the website. Like, does anybody actually read this and go, wow, that is super ultra mega epic, I'm gonna buy four. Anyway, back on track. First up, let's go through the specifications. So the mouse is using a Pixar 3361 sensor with the owl eye treatment that Rocket provide. On run switches on the mouse 1 and 2 with some standard switches for everything else. You have 7 programmable buttons with potentially 17 in total, snazzy. Max DPR of 12,000 going from 250 increments, 1000Hz polling rate, 512KB of onboard memory and a 1.8m braided cable. The mouse is 118mm long, 70mm wide and 39mm tall. All this weighs around a nice 88 grams. So on paper this mouse looks very tasty. There is some bold claims from Rocket, so come with me my friends as we go on a journey of exploration. This mouse is very impressive, the build quality just feels amazing. There seems to be no shortcuts with every part of the mouse given an equal amount of attention. Most mice normally end up being let down on one or two things, but with this one everything feels great. Now the shape is something that will split opinions, I personally found this mouse to be a little bit small for me. The groove on the left side for your thumb felt uncomfortable after a while. It's a bit too much of a sudden dip and also seems to be out of place as my thumb never really felt like it fit in there. With the Zowie EC series and the G403 my thumb would be comfortably rested, like they were shaped to fit everyone. This feels like you are forced to adhere to its shape and if you don't like it you're a disgusting cretin. Obviously not every mouse is going to feel right for me, but I do hope they come out with something with a little bit more of a neutral shape in the future. Another minor grip for me is the coating. I'm not sure what it is, but my hands just seem to get incredibly sweaty and sticky from using this mouse. From all the mice I've used, this one really stands out in terms of how uncomfortable it is. I mean the past week it's been mega hot and I've been able to use my G403 or the Scream one as I normally would, but this one just feels really, really sticky. Now I know what you're thinking, you just said this mouse is impressive and everything is great and I did but these things are just something that affects me personally. We all have different preferences so I won't give a shit if it's something that wasn't designed for my precious baby soft hands. The scroll wheel receives my scroll wheel feels real seal of approval, it's honestly the best scroll wheel I have ever come across. I use the mouse free button to move my camera in Dota 2 and it's just been amazing to use a scroll wheel that is this nice. The notches are solid whilst keeping it easy to scroll between each one and honestly they have done a truly fantastic job. Software wise you get a whole host of features, you can customise your DPI steps and when you have the software running you get a man with a very smooth deep voice telling you what DPI you are currently on. Now I thought this was a bit of a piss take but I guess I can actually see the sense in this. I normally swap between 4 DPI's and there are many times where I cycle through them once too many by mistake and now I have this kind gentleman to remind me which one I'm on. Thanks mister. DPI down. DPI down, DPI down, DPI down, DPI twelve thousand, DPI down, DPI down, DPI down, DPI down, DPI down, twelve thousand, DPI down, twelve thousand, D three thousand, D two hundred DPI, two hundred DPI, two hundred DPI, three thousand DPI. In-game performance is as good as you'd expect, I've had no issues in-game at all. I wish I could say more, but it would just be pointless filler. Overall, as I said, this mouse is fantastic. I devised caution as the shape won't be for everyone, but honestly, if the shape is suitable for you, this could very well be the best mouse you'll use. The price isn't anything too extortionate compared to some of the other offerings from rival manufacturers, 
so you'll certainly get in value from this as well. But personally I won't be using this because the shape just doesn't fit right for me. But I will certainly be looking out for any future mice from Rocket. Hopefully they'll bring one out that is a bit more of a neutral shape as this is a mouse that I really wish I could get used to as I'd probably use it as my main. Anyway that's all for this review, thank you very much for watching, remember to leave a comment in the box below for some reason, maybe just tell me how your day is um, and you know you know what, what interests you have and stuff like that, tell me a bit about yourself, I've, I've got no friends and I've got a lot of free time so I don't mind having a bit of a, a read and um, subscribe, like and stuff. Check out my Patreon if you fancy supporting me a bit more, especially if you have a lot of expendable income. Check out my website warheya.gg so I can justify my hosting costs. And if you'd like me enough to watch me play games for hours on end, visit twitch.tv forward slash warheya forward slash subscribe.